West Ham boss Slaven Billig would like to bring in one more player before the transfer window closes. Billick says the Hammers are still waiting for news on whether William Carvalho will join from Sporting Lisbon, but says he will only release players if he is able to bring in replacements. Sky sources understand West Ham are listening to offers for Robert Snodgrass, with Sunderland interested in taking him on loan, but Billick insists he is happy with his squad. We will see what happens in the last week of the transfer window if somebody is going to leave or come in, said Billick. August 23, 2017, 7.30 pm live on like most clubs we are ready to do something, both ways in case something good comes on our plate. I'm happy with the squad now. I would like to have one more and after that, if somebody leaves we have to fill that gap because we don't have a big squad. This is our squad for the season, or at least until January. We are happy, but if somebody leaves we have to be ready to act. Billick revealed Andy Carroll has returned to full training, but Saturday's trip to former club Newcastle may come too soon for the striker. He has trained seven times with us, said Billick, who dismissed room as linking Carroll with a return to St. James Park. There is a big question regarding the Newcastle game and whether it is too soon. He wants to play, but I told him that we are going to have to see. We will decide on Friday. West Ham visit Cheltenham Town in the Carabao Cup on Wednesday, live on Sky Sports Football from 7.30pm, and Bullock has called on his team to play like it is the last game of our lives and kickstart their season. The Irons have lost both of their Premier League fixtures so far, going down first 4-2-0 to Manchester United and then 3-2-2 at Southampton, where they had fought back following the sending off of Marco Arnautovic, only to concede a last-minute penalty. Billick, though, is confident his players can come through at Warden Road to give themselves the perfect tonic going into Saturday's trip to Newcastle ahead of the international break. We need a win to get that boost, but it was a completely different feeling after the defeat at Manchester, United and at Southampton, because there were a lot of positives on Saturday when we came back from 2-2-0 down with 10 men to equalise. But of course we have zero points. If we do some changes it is because we have a good squad and okay with a little bit of an eye towards the Newcastle game, but we will of course put a strong team out.